Hi everyone! Welcome back to Money and Chi. And today we are on our ninth week of Trade with Chi. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and thank you so much as well for sharing the video to your friends. Of course, it's better if there's more people that are informed and knowledgeable in terms of stocks investing. So guys, remember we did the crash course for fundamental and technical analysis. If you haven't watched that yet, the link is on top right now. And then after that, we did the ABC strategy last on the last two videos. And if you haven't watched that yet, there's a link on top for GP Capital and for Jollibee, JFC. So this week, what we will do is to link the current events or the news to the stock market. Okay, so if you're ready, let's start! So now, this is the third step that you really need to know para mas maging okay ka in terms of investing sa stock market. Bakit? Kasi stock market is greatly affected by the market, eh, diba? So what is the news that comes to the market? It's the public news, diba? Public information that you can see. Those are the things that influence the decision of an investor at the same time sa inyo rin. If you remember the past few weeks, two months ago, I keep on telling you um, to invest before the ECQ ends. Invest before the ECQ ends. It's because if the ECQ is lifted, then the sentiment of the market becomes positive and then that's give, that gives them the confidence to invest back on the market. And that's exactly what happened. So, Right now, I will show you my portfolio because uh, I don't want to show it to you while it's on negative and I don't want to show you na positive. Siya. So we will go through the process from the moment I bought the stocks and then eventually when it went down and then it went back up. Para you understand the emotion that comes within. You understand ano ba yung mga stocks na binili natin, what gives us the confidence to stay or to add more shares or to sell it. Ganyan. So that's gonna be our topic for this week. So let's go. This is my portfolio. I forgot if I mentioned, but I use both, the right? So call financial and first metro sec. So this is during May 11. I asked you from the beginning how much, and I was thinking, sige, gawin na lang natin both. Um, so call financial, I was thinking like doing the small waves here. Pero as you can see, because nagkaroon ng mga news afterwards, hindi ko na nagawa yung short waves kasi bumaba siya ng sobra. And that's why you always have to see both the small waves and the big wave. Para if mali yung pasok mo ng short wave, tas biglang bad yung market, then at the end of the day, you can just average down. So, yun yung reason why we do that. Um, as you can see, I... Have here AGI, Ali, BDO, Bloom, GT Cap, and Metro Bank. And medyo heavily invested daw sa um, banking sector kasi sila yung mura that time. And as you can see here, si Ayala Land nag-gain ako ng 5.26 and si Bloomberry 3.51%. Total, I have a loss of 1.36%. Again, guys, you have to remember that in stocks, you don't always win. Sa, syempre, sa umpisa, nag-bleed ka, ganyan. So, that's what happened. Okay, for my first metro sec naman, I have AGI. Yung AGI ko, nabili ko siya at 6.11. So, kasi ito yung long, longer positions ko. Like, this is my position trading. So, GTC ako ng 6.11. 0.1 yata for AGI. So, nag-done yung transaction. So, tapos sumaas siya kaagad. So, may 1.65 ako. Do I have? See, dito sa AGI ko dito, uh, naka-negative ako ng 31%. Pero dito, nag-gain ako ng 1.65%. Kasi, mas mababa ko siyang nabili. Kasi, eto yung sinundan ko dun sa isa kong analysis. So, I was able to enter... Tapos si BPI, nag-gain siya ng 1.28%. And my BDO, pumasok ako ng 97.65, yung naging average ko. And you will see later, pababa siya ng pababa. Tapos si GT Cap, ayan o, as you can see, nakapasok ako ng 425. And if you remember, nag-375 siya. So, ganun kalaki yung bleed ko sa kanya for um, some time. And then right now, it's 480. So, it's 2.8. 
8 negative. So, on May 11, ito yung ililink na natin siya sa news, ba? So, nung May 11, ayan, sabi niya, si Nickel Dow losses um, for first quarter of 2020. Ali net income suffers huge drop. Wilcon, one tw um, first quarter profits down 32.2% year on year. And SEC net income trails forecast. And ABS to lose 30, 30 to 35 million daily while off air. So, and then another is Yung Tel, the first commercial launch of 5G services. Sa first metro sec naman, um, sabi niya, we expect the market to trade sideways with upward bias this week as we, as new daily COVID-19 cases and deaths continued to show signs of slowing down over the weekend. So, when you hear this, medyo positive yung, yung ano, ba Nakita niya dito. Dito, nag positive siya. Ito naman, negative konti. And then, we move forward now to what happened really to the market. So, the market went up by 0.82%. So, sideways, upward bias. So, ito yung mga tumaas. You can see the top gainers, itong companies na to. So, this is what happened to the market. And then, after that, we look on the report the following day to for the explanation why it went up, ba? So, sabi niya, PSEI rose 0.82% yesterday as investors look forward to the potential easing of lockdown measures in Metro Manila after May 15. Sabi naman ni Call Financial, so, the local equities market rose on Monday as investors awaited the government's decision regarding the possible easing of the, the ECQ. So, ayun, pare, et pare, yung parehas na sinabi kung bakit umakyat yung market. Remember, nung time na to, we're thinking na, okay, mukhang ma malilit na. Pero after that, di ba, na-extend siya. Okay, so nung May 13 naman, as you can see, my portfolio went down by 1.57%. Pero as you can see, si GT Cup yung mostly nag-drive nung losses ko. Plus Metro Bank. Si BDO, medyo na levelized niya kasi tumaas siya. Tapos, kasi as you can see, mas heavy yung allocation ko ng stocks. Mas mataas, pinakamataas yung KBDO. So, at least na-recover niya kahit na malaki yung losses dito sa dalawa. Anong May 13, sabi ni First Metro, PSEI is poised to trade lower today following Wall Street's late session sell-off as investors grow increasingly wary of economic reopening plans. Locally, the easing of quarantine restrictions across regions, and then yung top stories niya, if you can see, economy, government implements modified ECQ for Metro Manila, Laguna. Banking sector, Fitch, downgrades for Philippine Bank. So, dapat yung banking sector bumaba today, natong May 13, kasi this is a bad news. Telecom sector revenue to be flat this year according to Fitch rating. So, that's a good news kapag sinabing flat kasi everyone is going down, ba? And then, Moody sees Philippine economy contracting by 2% in 2020. Again, this is a bad news kasi if it contracts, ibig sabihin, bumaba yung GDP ng yung country natin, ibig sabihin, bumaba lahat nung, nung earnings ng mga companies, ba? Let's see what happened. Okay, so nung May 13, nakita nyo naman, nag-reflect siya sa market. Tapos, yung net foreign selling siya. Si financials, although that's a bad news, nag-loss siya, pero not as much as mining and oil. So, what happened ba? Sasabi kasi, PSE ended um, lower yesterday on weak sentiment after the government further cut its 2020 GDP forecast to negative 3.4. So, ibig sabihin, bababa pa ulit, ba? So, kung nabasa nyo yung news na yan, so, alam nyo na dapat na bababa yung market. So, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Na you have to read this news kasi it tells you a lot and those will be affecting the market. And then, local equities market declined on Wednesday as investors assess the impact of the government's decision to extend the lockdown in Metro Manila. So, yun yung main cause niya. Nung May 19, and as you can see, namumula siya. <laughs> Masakit siya sa mata, ba? And if you're new to stocks trading, of course, masastress ka. Kasi, imagine nyo, if you look at GTCAP, negative 13% na yung loss ko sa kanya, ba? Tapos, ang gain ko lang is Ayala land. So, if you're new, tapos ganyan yung mapapa makikita nyo, 
anong gagawin nyo? Magpapanik kayo? Magpasal na kayo? Kasi syempre, 3,000 is 3,000, di ba? Malaking loss yun. Ang tawag doon, sugal. So, don't do that. Reassess kung, let's say, um, si GT Cap, negative 13% na yung loss mo sa kanya. So, you have to think again kung ibebenta mo na ba siya or ihohold mo siya. So, ako, hold ako kasi I believe na tataas siya once maging okay na yung market, di ba? And that's a strong conviction on my side kasi I studied like we did the ABC strategy of GT Cap. I have a strong confidence na tataas siya ulit. That's why I stick to it. But if it changes, let's say si Jollibee yan, tapos 13%, baka I, ha- I will think I have to sell na kasi otherwise that's a loss na for me kasi I don't know if Jollibee will be able to recover this year kasi again, napakataas ng beta niya and mas malaki yung loss niya compared to GT Cap which is heavily on banking na nag nag-operate pa rin, even with ECQ. So, those are the things that you have to reconsider, di ba? Like, yan. So, ako, I stick to it kasi I know for myself, I did my studies very well. So, yun yung importante. Once you enter the market, lalo na sa panahon ngayon, you have to think very well. Sa first metro sec naman, ganun din. So, negative 7% din. And the biggest driver of that is Security Bank. Yeah, I entered kasi ito yung bumaba siya. Tapos, um, GT Cap. So, 382 si GT Cap nun. I remember I bought additional um, stocks there. Kasi, ganun ako eh. Parang, I, st- I really believe in it. So, nag-average down ako. And then, si BPI, 7% gain na siya. So, I just let it go, uh, let, let it gain. Kasi, once it's okay na, mas mataas pa yung gain niya. If, if it can gain right now, then it will gain better. So, yeah, yeah, and uh, I s- just summarized the news again. Pero, of course, we, we move forward na kasi we explained na how you, ca- you read it, how it will affect the market next day, de ba? So, as you can see, up yung market that time, pero loss ako sa portfolio ko, right? Ibig sabihin, yung stocks na tumaas, hindi ako doon naka-invest, sa iba ako naka-invest. And that's okay kasi... Yun nga eh, you will look for the worst ano eh, performers and then wait until it goes back. And then we move on to May 29. Ito na yung times na medyo inisip natin na okay na, magiging na, ma- ma- malilift na yung ECQ. May mga rumors na na ililift na yung ECQ sa Metro Manila gagawin ng GCQ. So, because of that, nagiging positive yung market. As you can see, my portfolio is starting to gain. Again, um, loss pa rin si GT Cap. 387 siya noong May 29. Pero, 4 na lang, 4.65% na lang yung loss ko. Pero yung noong May 19, 13% siya, pero 382. So, ibig sabihin, I bought additional shares para mapababa ko yung average price ko. And, that's why it's 402 na. So, that's what you do when you do uh, cost averaging um, para bumaba yung percentage mo. Tapos, you wait until it gains back. So, as you can see, si Bloomberry nag, nag ano na siya kaagad, recover na siya at 16.82%. And then, as you can see, 400 lang yung shares ko, which is a very small portion of my portfolio. Um, ganun kasi yun, you have to strategize. Like, I think that investing in Bloom is higher risk. So, I just put a little bit. I did put a lot. And I just want to show you rin kasi, like, different stocks, diba? So, Bloom, as you can see, ang bilis, ang taas din ng gain niya. So, higher risk, higher return. Pero, strong din yung conviction ko kay Bloom. Kasi, as mentioned nun sa earlier videos natin, up siya for, for the last 5 years. Eh. Tapos, the last year, parang 40% yung gain niya. So, bakit naman hindi ka mag invest kay Bloom, ba? So, actually, kaya maliit lang yan. Kasi, na-miss ko siya. Parang, I was expecting it to go below, like, mga 5, 5.1. Tapos, hindi ko na siya na-achieve. Umakyat na siya bigla. So, too bad for me, but good for Bloom. It's a good um, investment. This is June 1. Um, in June 1, bumaba na ulit yung loss ko. 0.75% na lang siya. nag na yung, ano, yung ECQ. Si GT Cap, bumaba pa siya. 376, ba? 
So, mapapaisip ka, tama pa ba to? Magsasell na ba ako? O hindi? Sabi ko, hindi. Dito pa rin ako. <laughs> Ito, si Bloom, 22% na, di ba winner? Tapos, yung first metro sec naman natin, si BPI, 16% na. Winner na winner, di ba? Tapos, si PNB, Gain 6%. So, bumili ako ng PNB kasi oversubscribed daw si Mary Marts. Doon na lang ako sa sure na may kita, di ba? Si P kay PNB tayo. Kasi, ayoko mo na ipasok ng risky na asset. So, doon tayo. Up pa rin yung market as you can see. But my portfolio is still red. So, yun lang. You, you have to remember those things. Hindi palaging up. Market up yung market. Up din yung portfolio mo. Nung June 2, mas lalo pa siyang bumaba. Parang ano ba yan? Beshi. <laughs> Anong nangyari? Kasi eto nga si GT ka. Bumaba pa ulit siya ng 371. Di ba? Ulit naman eh. Bakit papababa ka ng pababa? Nakaka-stress ka na. Uh, kung mas nagpasok ako ng mas malaki pera sa Bloom, edi 22% na yung kita ko. Di ba? Ganun lang yun. Pero... Stay lang tayo. Sabi nga ng friend ko, sasal na ba ako? Sasal na ba ako? Chill ka lang. <laughs> Chill lang tayo. Ayan. June 2. So, nung June 2, okay na lahat ng stocks ko sa first metro sec. Kasi again, I bought shares na lower dito. Ito yung lower, uh, yung big wave ko, which I put lower prices. So, nakapasok ako doon, luckily. So, lahat siya good na oh. Positive na positive. Except GT ka. Pero dahil siya yung pinakamalaking uh, percentage ko, loss pa rin ako. Ganun yun. So, that's my decision to put more shares in GT Cap rather than other stocks. So, dun pumapasok ngayon yung uh, portfolio management. So, ilang percent ba dapat yung ilalagay mo sa isang stocks? Ilan yung sa ganitong stocks? Depende sa risk, depende sa appetite mo. Normally, I would just invest on 4 to 5 stocks. Maximum yun. Pero at this point kasi, the reason why I I make it kalat kasi to just to, just to show you other stocks then pero i want to make sure na okay yung mga stocks na papasukan natin June 3 ayan positive na si Kuya <laughs> finally tumaas din diba yung mga parang pagising mo Ta-da! so June 3 ito yung reason the reason why is kasi naging positive yata yung ano effect nung GCQ kaya nag gain siya lalo. <laughs> diba? So, at this point, 3.55 na yung gain natin. Again, si GT Cup, medyo nakaka-recover na siya. Diba? Nag-385 siya. Tapos, si AGI, uh, bumaba siya ulit. Okay lang. Chill lang. Ito naman yung uh, June 3 natin kay First Metro Sec. Pagdating ng June 4, biglang hanep, ba? <laughs> 11.85 kaagad. Bakit? Kasi si GT Cup naka-recover na, ba? From 385, biglang tumalon sa 444. Ba Aba? Ganon, ba? So, pag ganyan, basahin niya lang yung news kung bakit siya umakyat. So, tama ang ano natin, tama ang conviction natin, ba? <laughs> Hindi tayo masyado napahiya doon. <laughs> All this time, sabi ko, ipapakita ko na ba yung ano, kaso baka mapahiya ako eh. Pero, anyways, positive naman siya. So, um, Nag-9.35 siya. Increase immediately that day. Ang highest pa natin, of course, is si Bloomberry. Ah, uh, and Ali. ba? Pero if we go to my first metro sec, ang winner talaga dito is si BPI with 33.22% gain. Bongga, ba? Bakit konti lang yung in-invest? Kasi, hindi, joke lang. Konti lang talaga ako mag-invest kay BPI kasi minsan hindi ko sure kung hanggang saan yung itataas niya. Ayan, 11% din yung gain natin kay First Metro Sec. And then we go to Call Financial again. This is last Friday. The market ends. Positive pa rin siya. As you can see, 17.30% yung gain ko sa portfolio. Here naman, yung portfolio ko is 16.84%. Again, the biggest gain is BPI. With that, we have to think now kung magsasell na ba tayo. Kasi like, for example, during the times na negative siya, the question is, will you buy? Will you buy some more? Pero if in your portfolio is positive, the question is, do you sell na? Do you sell na ba now? Do you wait? Kasi pag nag-wait ka, baka tas bigla siyang bumaba. Sayang na yung, yung gains mo. You can have, but you can wait again um, for the next increase. Pero ayun, at this point, 
what are the stocks in this portfolio that I wanted to sell? So if you remember the table that I showed you before, see si BPI, ang selling price ko is 77 and now it's at 78. So technically, I should sell it na or evaluate if I will sell na ba talaga or I will wait a little longer. For call financials, what you can do is you can go to research and then morning notes to see all the notes from the past as well. For first metro sec, you can go to research and then click all reports. And you can see this daily reports. They usually have two to three reports per day. This is all free, guys. You should take advantage of this. It's given to you by your online brokers. First metro and call financial have really good reports. Take advantage of that. Don't be tamad and read okay. Bawal tamad sa investing. So now guys, after watching that session that we did, the, the thing that you need to ask right now is what will happen locally right now na ayun nga, merong mga issues sa politically, it's very unstable right now. The coronavirus numbers are and cases are going up. So will there be another lockdown what will happen if you strongly believe that another lockdown will happen then i think the right thing for you to do is either sell if if we are just looking on the aspect that there will be no lockdown again in the future all indicators suggest that it's a bullish market already especially the interest rate will be eased down so bababa pa siya. if interest rates go down then Ang effect nun sa market is it goes up, eh, diba? So that suggests na magkakaran pa ng another run. But again, if you add all those things, diba? You, you have the fundamental, you have the technical, tapos you add now the news that you have, and then that gives you a decision whether to push through for a trade or not. Because it will greatly affect the market, not just you. Remember, you don't just think about yourself and how, what do you think, but you have to think what everybody else is thinking. Because that's that's the most important thing. You should remember that it's not just about your idea; it's the idea of everybody else. That's what everybody thinks will happen. That's what's gonna happen to the market, not you. You're part of the market, yes. Aside from that, may, make sure as well that you check the news in the U.S. market. Remember, a lot of investments in Philippines are from USA and other parts of the uh, other parts of the world. We are greatly affected by U.S. market. So, if there's a problem in USA, they could flock to other country, or they could get out and you know just stay. So depending on sa, sa funds, no? either they pull out of their investment in USA and move to another countries. But the thing is, they will look for safer market. Like is it Philippines? Merong Indonesia, merong Thailand, Vietnam is safe now. So bakit sila pupunta sa Philippines if we have this ano, political instability? So those are the things that you have to consider. At the same time, of course they cannot go to Hong Kong as well, kasi meron ding unrest sa Hong Kong. So those those countries would be some of the countries that they would be, you know, medyo iwas. So make sure that you consider all of this information and then decide for yourself. Again, don't naman make it like analysis paralysis na wala ka ng decision sa sobrang dami mong inisip. At the end of the day, you have to make a decision. Yes or no. In the end, ano ba yung recommend natin? So guys, if you really want to invest now and you think there's no problem, just choose first the stocks that are very strong in terms of fundamentals. Kasi those stocks will be having less risk. And if ever you're wrong, you're safe. Kasi at the end of the day, mas madali siyang maka-recover. Kasi the financial strength is strong na kahit one year lang hindi mag-operate, kaya nilang mag-continue. Ayan guys, so sana marami kayong natutulan ulit this week. And also, may nagpaparequest ng shoutout to Yuri and Isabella Liwagon. Hello! 
thank you for watching Money and Chi. And if you want also na shout out kayo, please comment below. Or you can also send me a message in Facebook page or in Instagram. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And also click the notification button para lagi kayo updated sa new videos natin. Malay nyo, mag-video ulit ako ng isa pa. <laughs> Depende. Pagka hindi ako busy, guys. You know naman, we're busy sa businesses natin. If you want to know more about my business, then siguro I'll create a new video na outlines all of my business kasi a lot of people ask for that. But for the meantime, I'm, I'll share with you the websites of my businesses and I will share with you as well and how to start your own business as well. So guys, thank you so much again for watching. Bye-bye!